Hi, I'm Richie Bray. Uh, I'm a British shooting Paralympic pathway shooter and this is my 10 metre rifle. For shooting in 10 metre competitions um, and it's extremely adjustable. As you can see, all the way from the back end, starting with the buttstock, you can raise it up, down, rotate left and right, change the width of it, even change the angle the stock sits at. Coming forward we go into the cheek piece, we can adjust the height of this, we can also move this left, right or angle it so we can get a good head alignment into the sight. The grip is a pistol grip which can be moved in 360 degrees um, and is somewhat contoured but not quite contoured perfectly to our hands. We've got the trigger, that can be moved forwards, backwards, you can change the length of it, you can change the blade. This is about 60 gram pull weight, um, they can be adjusted to go lower or higher than that, um, they're extremely sensitive. When you come to loading the gun, you've got this lever here, you pop your pellet in there, pull that lever up and you're ready to fire. have got diopter sight, which is just an iris at the back with a ring and a ring at the front. There's no magnification whatsoever, so when we look at the target, all we see is a little black dot. Coming forward to that, we've got the barrel. In this case, it's a shrouded carbon fibre barrel. These are extremely accurate barrels. Um, the barrel, we've got the air cylinder. On this particular rifle, it holds 300 bar of pressure, and I get a good, uh, a good few hundred shots between fills. Moving on to the front, you've got your tube. This allows the pellet to come out into relatively stable air before it exits the muzzle. At the moment I've got the hand stop on for when we're shooting in prone. There's a sling that attaches to this which connects to the corner of my jacket giving me more stability in the prone position. I have a corrective lens on the back for my astigmatism. Uh, we're not allowed any magnification but we are allowed to have eye correction. Uh, and when you look at the target, literally all we see is a black dot. Um, the centre of that black dot, there's a little full stop, and that's the 10. We need to hit that full stop to score a 10, and the more central the pellet is, over that dot, it goes 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, so on, with 10.9 being the highest attainable shot. Shoots is a 0.177. It's a very small lead pellet with a flat head which punches a nice, neat, clean hole in the centre of the target. I'm pleased to say my progression is, is rapid. Um, coming back from Germany earlier in the year, I got my new classification. I've now got better stability in the chair I'm using from that classification. Um, so I'm, I'm now able to focus on what I really need to focus on and not worrying about pulling muscles and things. So, um, but yeah, it's... It's a, long, it's a long process and there's no guarantees at the end of it, but it won't be for lack of trying, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the first thing we did in Germany was uh, went and got classified. Uh, we saw the medical people, they went through the classification. They said to me, um, actually we think you need a small backrest rather than without, you know, shooting without one like I have been. Um, I'd never actually shot with a backrest before, so one of our coaches arranged for us to um, have a training session late at night on the range um, the, the day before the match and initially I just I was struggling to release the shot because I've never seen it so still and everything just felt really comfortable I was no longer having pain in the stomach wall um, and I got quite emotional I won't lie it was just like wow it was a bit of a, Eure a eureka moment um, and then you know, it just got better and better I shot my first 50 meter 3P match, which I'd never shot before. Um, I, mean, I came, I came last where I expected to, but I learned a lot. All the other athletes were really supportive. Um, they came over, gave me advice. Uh, it was incredible, fantastic first international experience, and I can't wait for the next one. My next national competition is Stoke Mandeville uh, DSGB Nationals in October, uh, and then sometime after that, or shortly after that, I have the Welsh um, Open. Um, in the new year have the British Air Gun open and then hopefully we go back to Hanover again in May for my second international. This is the equipment I wear when I'm shooting. Start off with the, the base layer, 
this goes underneath my jacket. It uh, helps to keep me cool by wicking away any perspiration and also keeps me warm uh, when I'm shooting in cold environment. It's got seams on the outside edge as opposed to the inside so if I'm shooting chrome they don't rub on my skin. And it's got a zip at the bottom and the top so I can adjust it so it's nice and tight for me without any creases. Secondly we come to a sun visor. Um, I don't always wear this unless it's particularly sunny but it does help me to see the rear sight better and keep the sun out of my eyes on, the, on a particularly sunny day. And then we've got gloves. In the standing position I prefer a thinner glove where I've got a better bend in my hand and it supports the, uh, the rifle a lot better. It's non-slip and uh, stops my hand getting blisters. And then in the prone position I've got a much thicker glove because I've got the, the sling coming around the back of my hand. This helps to minimise pulse transferred from my, uh, my arm into the rifle and also helps to protect my hand from the, uh, the edges of the sling and the stock. And we wear a blinder when we're shooting because we shoot with both eyes open. Uh, this allows me to use my dominant eye on the sight and uh, I don't get any input from my left eye apart from light. And then we come on to the jacket, which is the all important bit. These are reasonably tight around you. Um, there is a limit to how tight they can be. There's a limit to how much overlap they can be. They give you a lot more support. Um, they help pull tight across your shoulders, so you've got a much more comfortable position. Uh, they stop pulse being transmitted uh, into your rifle. And we also attach the prone sling onto the top of the arm which is then strapped to the jacket so all the weight of the rifle is transmitted down your arm and across your shoulders. As I shoot from a wheelchair the jacket is cut quite short um, we're not allowed to have the back of the jacket touching the cushion there has to be a visible gap um, whereas uh, Olympic shooters that shoot stood up will have it coming a lot further down and they will also wear a, a pair of trousers made from a similar supportive material. There's a grippy material on the arm that supports the rifle and suede on the side of the jacket. So in your position the material grips onto the suede to uh, hopefully stop your elbow slipping. We also have it on the shoulder that the uh, buttstock goes into to give you some extra grip to uh, stop the rifle sliding. And we also have it on the other elbow, so in the prone position you have grip on your table or floor depending how you shoot and it also stops your elbow from getting blisters. We also have two straps on the back, we use these in the prone to pull the shoulder tight so you've got a nice tight material all the way across the jacket, all the way across your shoulders so the gun is totally supported. We previously spoke about my 10 meter air rifle this is the other discipline I shoot. This is a 2-2 rimfire rifle. It fires a 2-2 bullet from a 2-2 rimfire cartridge. And we use these at 50 metres. The sights work in the same principle with a diopter at the back and a diopter at the front. And again, we've got a highly adjustable stock, adjustable butt plate. On the 2-2s, we have a hook to hook under our arm. They are quite heavy, this gives you a bit of stability in the barrel. The same adjustability in the stock as the air rifle. And the same adjustability with the cheek piece. But when you come to loading this, it's bolt action. Put your cartridge in the loading port, slide your bolt forwards, lower and you're ready to fire. Again, I have a 60 gram trigger, also highly adjustable, forward, back, left, right, whichever way you need. It's got an adjustable palm shelf on the front, so I can raise or lower the gun in my hand. I can also move that forwards and backwards, or put a cant onto it to allow for an angle in the gun. On the end, I've got a barrel tuner. This allows you to adjust the harmonics of the barrel to give you a tighter group on target. And the tube on the end gives me a longer sight radius, which uh, shows more movement in aim, and uh, I find works well for me. He is on his way. 
For Richie to see gold in the Paralympics, he needs your help. He has a GoFundMe page to fund his equipment and his travel expenses. I'll put a link below in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.